aside from the first evening of her life, has never been around the chickens. I thought she had, um, she was a slow developer, and I thought maybe she might have a virus that's very deadly and it affects their balance because she couldn't stand. It's called Merck's disease. But after a little research, baby chickens have an immunity to Merck's disease um, out of the egg for the first few weeks of their life. So that it was, she was one day old when I suspected this, so it wouldn't even show up. Now she's balancing clearly um, and has no problems. So I'm going to introduce her to her flock. Turbo, look, those are your nest mates. Whoa. Nope. She's like, yeah, but you're my mama. Here, yeah, let's get closer to them. Look at them. They're coming over to see you. They're coming over to see you, Turbo. There. Look at them. Look at your buddy. Oh, peck in the face. Welcome to the flock. Oh, Turbo, go play. No, right under me. So here is the flock. We've got a variety of chickens. Some of them are five weeks old and some are two weeks old. And this is their first day out of the brooder and into the pen. So I will keep the chickens penned. This is all um, chicken wire. So ceiling, walls, I've dug out the bottom and put hardware cloth underneath so things can't dig and burrow through. After about two days, the um, chickens will learn to use the ramp that goes into their brooder and that's where they stay, that's where their light is, their food and water. And so as soon as I removed the grate a few minutes ago, they bounded and flew out of the brooder, which is always a good sign. So. Tonight, before it cools down, I'll come out and I will walk each of them individually up the ladder and teach them how to get back to their brooder box. So during the days, for the next probably two or three months, these guys won't be out in the yard. They'll just be in this enclosed pen. And I do that because I've let them out sooner. I've let them out at this age before. But we have so many predatory birds that last year I lost all seven chicks to um, hawks or something. So I like to give them a fighting chance at life and I like them to be more or less full size when I release them. Turbo is not leaving my side. Oh, big stretch, big stretch. Here come the big kids, Turbo. Here come the big kids. Oh, oh man, Turbo, you got bullied. Yeah, you better hide out. You got bullied by that big bird. Turbo is so accustomed to our hands because we've been holding her a lot and she likes to burrow and if you hold your hand like this, she'll just sleep in it for hours. And so filming, I put my hand down beside her and she, she comes straight at the camera. It's really sweet. Don't let that black and white one bully you around. Okay, let's see how this goes. She usually doesn't like when I leave her. Sneak out. You're all right, Turbo. Oh, feel, oh, Turbo. Oh no, he's getting bullied. As soon as I leave. Oh, he's now it's two. Man. Turbo. He had two birds on him. 
think I gotta come over and make sure he's okay. Oh, Turbo! If you get bullied by those birds, come here, baby. Or no, probably not the best mothering practices, but I hate to leave you out here all scared. Turbo, you gotta socialize. You're a bird. You're a bird. You're not a human. I know you're a bird. And those birds, I know they're bigger than you, but you gotta socialize. You can't just be hiding in my ponytail all the time. No, you can't hide in the ponytail all the time. Yeah. You gotta learn to be a chicken. That's my job, is to teach you how to be a chicken. I know. Not to eat my lip gloss. You gotta be a chicken. Okay, Turbo. Let's try this one more time. Yeep. You be nice. No beating up on this little bird. It's pretty sheltered. Oh, that's the distressed peep. Oh man, it's got somebody flying after him already. You be nice. Oh man. Oh man, be nice. Play nice, birds. Oh no. Turbo, he's pacing. Turbo! Oh no. Oh no. He's, he's distraught. She's distraught. Oh no! Oh man! Two big birds! You guys be nice to my baby! Should I wait until Turbo is a little older before I... Oh no! Oh the white one's after him! And the black one, they're ganging up on him. I think I gotta go in. I gotta intervene. Turbo! Turbo, come on bud! Whew! Whew! Scary business! Scary business in there! Well, maybe I'll wait till you're a little bigger before I integrate you. Whoa! Turbo. Yeah, I don't quite know what to do with you. I don't quite know what to do with you. This is her favorite place in the world, tangled in my ponytail. Oh, oh, oh.